So this summer I'll be working on campus. We're starting a company called Design Good, uh, and my plan is to be working on that um, for the near and distant future. <laughs> So over the summer, I'm actually going to be starting an English master's program through the Redliff School of English at Middlebury College. It's a four summer program. And then in the school year, I'm actually going to be an English teaching fellow at Phillips Andover. So I'll be teaching two classes of English. I will be living in a dorm and doing sort of the dorm duty. This summer, I'm going to be working at Cole McVoy, uh, which is a small, about 200 person advertising agency in Minneapolis. Um, I'm going to be working on the Purina dog food account. So I'm pretty excited because I think I get to hang out with dogs, according to what they told me. In the fall, I'm starting to work at United Talent Agency in Los Angeles. Um, so it'll be a really high power, low paying job, but I'm very excited about. So next year I will be in Malaysia um, on a Fulbright teaching grant and I'll be somewhere in rural Western Malaysia and I'll find out, I guess, where exactly in the next month or so. There are things that you love so much at Williams and that you're really passionate about and you know what those things are. And those things might be as simple as like being in choir. If I'm not going to be in choir, should I be in music publishing? Should I be a you know record label person? And I think to really think about the variety of ways that the things you love at Williams can be applied in different ways, um, that'll help you so much in finding a great job and it'll help you so much in the interview process when we're asked those tough questions about why do you want to do this, you'll be able to answer really genuinely and feel really passionately about the jobs you've applied for. The best advice I could give is to be open to different kinds of jobs that you might have never considered before. Um, there are like a lot of things out there that I don't think people realize like are jobs, like that someone has to do those things. There are so many really cool jobs out there that Bloom students would just excel at enormously. Um, we just need to like find out where they are. And I also wish I'd known that it's important to know yourself and that, yeah, I think it's important to know yourself. I think I wish I had known that I shouldn't be discouraged about the different stages sort of of the job process and how that can look very different for different people. It was very discouraging for me in the fall, the fact that a lot of my friends who are interested in sort of finance jobs or consulting jobs, they were, you know, getting interviews, they were, you know, moving forward with things. And the thing about the kind of the education job search was that it didn't really pick up for me until January or February. What I wish I had known was that, you know, it was coming, it was coming for me too, that eventually it would be my turn and I was, you know, just as crazy and just as excited come winter study and come the beginning of the spring um, as my friends had been in the fall. Yeah, so actually I had the, the pleasure of working with the people at the Career Center this year and there's a lot going on in there as far as people they bring in, um, the types of jobs that are coming in and out, uh, speakers that they have coming in and it's a really great network to tap into. And so I suggest taking advantage of it um, as early and as often as you can. I can't stress enough how helpful the career network was. Um, I, you know, emailed probably 40 alums my junior year. Um, I heard back from probably three quarters of them and, you know, probably about half of them put me in touch with HR. It really helped my interviewing skills and that was huge, you know, taking the time to reach out to alums to do informational interviews with them, which meant that when it came for time for me to have real job interviews, I'd been asked the questions, I'd had the discussions that really prepared me for that and that made me prepared for, for real interviewing. You should definitely get in touch with the alumni. My best internship experience was an alumni internship. Throughout this whole business plan thing, we talked to so many different people and they all want to help you. Um, so yeah, why not take advantage of that? So I absolutely would not have a job at all if I hadn't used the alumni network. Absolutely do not be nervous at all. Um, I mean, the worst that can happen is that someone doesn't email you back. I got a lot of like career direction um, from talking to other people. And I think one thing that I've learned as a sociology major is that people love to talk about themselves. Also, if no one responds right away, after a week, you can feel free to send them like a follow-up email, um, not being like really pesky, but just, hey, did you get my email? Um, and that was something that I didn't know if that was okay or not, but it definitely is. Yeah. <laughs> Use the alumni network. The year can be stressful. Um, so I always would I always would say that like you know the job search is like another extracurricular um, or like another class. It's like a, something that you feel like is you know you're adding on to an already hectic Williams schedule. It can also be really exciting. Um, 
it is something that it kind of binds the senior class together and that a lot of people are you know going through this crazy hectic process with you so i think don't get down on yourself even though it can feel like you know i'm already a williams student i have my four classes i have my extracurriculars and here's this other thing that's coming on top of it um that that other thing can really enhance your light your senior year here as well